you so much, sir, for uh, your kind words. You have been an inspiration always. Um, I would, uh, before I, you know, speak about COVID, I would like to say that when I started my journey as an actor, and I used to shoot in Hyderabad and all these neighboring uh, places, you know, and I always used to say Hyderabad looks so beautiful. It's so well maintained. The kind of uh, you know uh, infrastructure that has uh, come, the IT that has come, you know, how come this is so beautiful? And the only name that used to come was it's only because of Chandra Babu Naidu sir, and he is the man. He is the visionary who uh, gave this um, facelift to this uh, whole state. And I always used to tell my uh, uh, staff and the co-actors, hey, can we take? Uh, Chandra Babu Naidu sir to our states also for some time so that we can also see that progress so I think that was my introduction to you uh, till I met uh, till we connected during the COVID times and it's it's really a pleasure sir uh, always uh, you know uh, getting inspired by the great work that you have been doing and uh, uh, you know I always say that you know Andhra Telangana now you know it's it's been my second home uh, my wife is from uh, you know, Andhra, she's a Telugu, I, I don't know how many people know that from the Godavari district. So there's a, there's a certain connection that was always there before even I started uh, uh, my movie career. And the, all the love that has been given, uh, it's, that brings me back again uh, to my, I would say, uh, my, my people. And, uh, and, and with COVID, I think uh, the bond has grown stronger. Uh, we have connected with so many people, so many heroes. Uh, and um, a small example I would like to give is that when, um, uh, you know, uh, when I was sending people back home, I, I connected to almost a million people uh, who approached me during uh, the migrant movement. And, you know, and when uh, once the first wave uh, subsided, you know, and they, these people had their education problems, their uh, uh, healthcare problems and their employment. So we gave, uh, I started this platform called Pravasi Rozgar, which was later, uh, you know, called Good Worker with Temasek. We have given employment to almost close to 2 lakh people, uh, done almost 2,400 surgeries, many in Andhra and Telangana, most of them. And, uh, uh, you know, obviously education also. And I realized that people thought that second wave has subsided and everything is coming to normal. Actually, second wave started even before the second wave uh, actually began. The second wave for me was the problems that people had because of the first wave. They had lost their jobs. They didn't have money to, uh, you know, feed their families. They didn't have employment. They didn't have money to get treated. So actually, we were living in that second wave. But uh, the second wave, we uh, uh, again that hit the COVID thing where people were losing lives, and all these people said that I connected during um, the first wave. All these people became my uh, workforce. You know, they said, you know, sir, we are in, uh, you know, Vikarabad, we are in Vijayawada. So how can we help? You had helped us go back to our homes. So they became my warriors. And, you know, I, I always used to say one thing that, you know, we can only work if you are available 24-7. It's not that, you know, okay, I'm busy. I can give four hours. I said, you know, in the middle of night, someone uh, has a medical emergency. I'm going to call you in the middle of night that you have to help. Uh, this is a very, uh, uh, one example that I would like to give. Varun is there also today uh, in our uh, forum. And, uh, you know, in the night at 2.30, once I got a uh, uh, image on my WhatsApp, which uh, one, one image which said uh, oxygen level uh, 60. And there's no message from where that random WhatsApp, they came just a picture of that uh, oximeter reading 60. So I called that uh, guy and he said, where are you? He said, sir, I'm in Kokatpalli in uh, Hyderabad and my this is my father's uh, oxygen level and I don't know whether he's going to survive or not. So I called Varun uh, uh, around 1.32 and uh, whole night we were coordinating. We took him to the hospital. We gave him some uh, emergency, uh, uh, you know, oxygen levels we improved and then he was shifted to that hospital. And uh, four days ago, he was discharged. And I said, you know, can you send me the picture of your father? And the father was sale and hearty. And I thought that, you know, if I would have thought that, you know, should I call someone at two o'clock in the night or three o'clock, disturb a doctor or someone, so that gentleman wouldn't have survived. So my uh, request to all of you is when you need to call someone or you need to save a life, 
just call them you know don't think also i have disturbed uh, chand babu naidu sir also once you know uh, in 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 the, in the middle of night i messaged him ki sir please help and someone from your team shifted a patient in the first wave uh, from one hospital to other and we got to save them so the biggest lesson that i learned uh, during uh, these uh, you know 15 months is that don't think so that we are not capable to do something you know sometimes lot of people say where to start i don't know how to help i don't know i'm financially not capable to help anyone so how can i help you know i'll become one big businessman or i'll earn a lot of money then i'll start my help so my uh, uh, suggestion to all of those people is don't underestimate your power you don't need money to help you just need that one phone call to call someone for help you know if someone is having a problem you can call any one of us that's a this a problem and if you are able to save that uh, individual i think you have done your job as as a as a warrior so i i i feel uh, covid is the biggest uh, professor that the world saw it taught us empathy it taught us what humanity is it taught us how a a, a normal person can save a life so take it as a a uh, lesson of a life that you know it's uh, it's not about uh, whether uh, you are capable of doing it or not you have to believe you are capable of doing it i i uh, as an individual you know i always used to act i never knew that i can get 12 and 1500 students from places like kyrgyzstan kazakhstan uzbekistan russia philippines georgia but i i got them because i i believed that i can get them you know i i i was Uh, sending medicines i was sending injections to people i was trying to get them icu beds oxygen uh, so i i am learning every single day every day i wake up you know there's someone who teaches me a lesson that you know so no you can do it and i try to do it you know like like i said you know we are starting with almost 18 oxygen plants across the states so people say yeah, why not punjab you are from punjab why not maharashtra you are living in maharashtra so my first four plants are coming in andhra and telangana one in karnool nellore uh, uh, hyderabad you are planning and one more place we are uh, hunting for which is a very genuine one so my point is society doesn't have any uh, uh, religion every any creed any uh, caste any state so i think we have to do and set examples for everyone like uh, sir said you know when uh, the crisis had hit and you know he had gone to orissa and uttarakhand and all these places i think that is the biggest example of an individual that you can do anything if you believe that you can do it and uh, today uh, you know i don't know uh, what all is written in fate but this is our first step you know i i read a very nice thing in the morning um when you uh, when you become rich and famous don't uh, try to improve the standard of living but try to improve the standard of giving so you have to uh, you know uh, be kind to the world and um, uh, we we read our uh, you know um, lectures whether it's history geography or all these in all these classes i always request is very important to have a lecture a lecture of humanity empathy where from first standard till you are doing your engineering or your medical we have to teach how important uh, it is uh, to you to learn about humanity and empathy and especially in, in to our kids you know when um, they ask for those expensive cars or the best life life system you have to teach them how we can go to a play a needy place and give them some ration or uh, adopt few uh, kids for their education so uh, i think that's what i have learned that's what i'm trying to learn and i'm still open to learn we i just started this foundation uh, uh, called su charity foundation uh, and we have uh, been doing a lot of work and i always say that you know uh, su charity foundation is not my foundation it's your foundation it's a foundation of 135 crore indians we no don't need any uh, donations you just have to call us so that so i am from su charity foundation we need this sir and we'll try to make things happen for you uh, and i think uh, not much to say but uh, like i said you all are heroes and thank you uh, thanks a ton for making a part uh, me a part of this family and uh, yes i'm there to learn i'm there to uh, uh, you know follow your footsteps and let's try to change a world set some examples and make this world a beautiful place to live in thank you very nice of you thanks a lot sir uh, though you have a busy schedule you joined the call and then uh, you have given a great insight it's a wonderful message to a lot of youngsters in our state sir and definitely we will definitely follow it and you know you you said like you know clearly you mentioned that so nothing can drive anything you know you, the only thing is the intention of help would drive the philanthropy thanks thanks a lot sir